What's going on guys? It's here Eddie. Before I start, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so when I upload a new video, you are notified. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to like and subscribe by pressing that subscribe button and also that thumbs up. On this video, I am going to be making a shrimp cocktail with all these seafood with real crab meat and a tail of a lobster because I love seafood. I love seafood cocktail. Let's get started. I'm going to be adding this ingredients. I also wanted to add oysters because I also love oysters. At the store, they did not have any oysters. So I'm going to be showing you this ingredients that I'm going to be using to make this shrimp cocktail with the real craft meat and the tail of a lobster. This is the shrimp. I might use this bag also. I'm going to use this crab meat. This is real crab meat. I got this crab leg meat from Publix. The price for this, I got it for $18 a pound. And there's the price that I paid for it. And I got this from Publix. This is the lobster tail that I am going to use. And for this, I only paid $8. And I got this also from Publix. As to the bags of shrimp, these are $6 at Dollar General. I'm going to use this cocktail shrimp sauce. And I got this at Publix also. I'm going to use this shrimp sauce also. I have tried this one before and it's good. But I haven't tried this one yet. So I'm going to try it now to see what it tastes like. These are the two shrimp sauces that I'm going to use for the cocktail. I'm also going to use an avocado, a cucumber, herb, or cilantro, and I'm going to use also tomato. I'm also going to add some ketchup, and this is odd to give it a good flavor to cook the craft meat, the shrimp, and the lobster's tail. I'm going to use a, a cooking pot. And to do the, the shrimp cocktail, I'm going to use this bowl right here. So once I get everything done, I'm going to put everything in here. This is the pot that I am going to use to cook the craft meat, the shrimp, and the lobster tail. Everything's been washed. I have everything prepared. Turn on the stove so I can start boiling water. So I'm going to go ahead and click right on this button right there, the plus, because it's high. I'm going to go ahead and click on minus. Probably I'm going to put it right on just like that. And as you can see, right under the stove is on. And this is what the water looks like now. 
I am going to add, I'm going to add the crab legs. This smells so good. Look at that. To the boiling hot water pot. The lobster's tail. The shrimp. Now I'm going to add more shrimp. I'm going to add more shrimp. I have lowered the temperature at 4.5, which is lower. As you can see, it looks real good, boiling. So, the herb, and yes, it's washed. This is what it looks like. I'm going to place it right in the... Now I'm gonna use an avocado. Now I'm going to use the spoon to take the avocado off the peel. I'm gonna cut the avocado in little pieces. Now I'm going to use the cucumber. It's washed. I'm going to use a peeler.
cutting the cucumbers in real small pieces. And I'm gonna use a little bit of tomato. It's washed. I'm gonna put a little bit more. You can use the whole cucumber, it's up to you. I'm not using a lot, just a little. I'm gonna use a little bit more of the cucumber. The seafood is looking good at a low temperature. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit more at five. Also, with the uh, seafood water that is boiling, I'm gonna be pouring water right in the bowl. And this is to, with the seafood water, I am going to be pouring it in the bowl to give it a good flavor because it's seafood water that it's boiling. I'm gonna use that water for the shrimp cocktail or the seafood shrimp cocktail. Instead of using regular water, I'm, I'm gonna use the water from the seafood that is boiling to give it a great flavor. I am going to add this shrimp cocktail sauce. As you can see, it's sealed. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it right in here. I'm gonna use a spoon. I'm gonna use this spoon to get the sauce out. I had it in the refrigerator. It's the reason why it's kind of hard to get out. I'm 
This is another ingredient that I'm going to use the lime. I'm going to use two of them to give it a better flavor. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to add this one now. Depending on how it tastes, then if it needs more, I add more. So now I am going to squeeze the juice of the lime here. And this is what it looks like now. Mix everything up. I'm not going to be able to add any seasoning because I don't have seasoning for the seafood. And what I'm supposed to use is a seafood seasoning. With all the ingredients that I'm going to add to this shrimp cocktail, with all this seafood, I'm pretty sure it's going to taste real good. This is what the seafood looks like boiling. It's real hot. This is what it looks like now. I'm going to place another crab legs in here. And I'm going to add another one. This is what the tail of the lobster looks like. At first it was black, now look how nice it is. It's maroon red. It looks so delicious.
So this is how the ingredients look now. Mixing it real good. So now I'm gonna pour water That's the way it looks. Now, I'm going to stir it. Okay, I'm gonna use a bigger spoon This is what it looks like. I might add some more water, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like this. Looks real good. I'm going to eat a little bit. Good. It tastes real good. It only has the ingredient. Let's see how it tastes with the seafood. I'm gonna put the shrimp right here. So this is the shrimp and I'm going to go ahead and place it right on the bowl. I'm also going to turn off the stove because I think it's ready. Yes, I turn off the stove because I think the seafood is re already boiled. It's been long enough. I still need more shrimp. Right on this plate, I am going to put the crab legs and the tail of the lobster.
This is the tail of the lobster. And not sure if you can see the meat looks so good. It's real hot. This shrimp right here And now I'm going to mix it. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to get the crab meat out of the crab legs. So I'm going to do my best to get the meat out. And that's the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and place it right in this bowl. I'm gonna use this one now. Try the knife. That's the meat right there. Sorry you guys, I've never done this before. I'm taking the craft meat out. This is the first time. It looks hard, but this is the meat and I'm doing my best. I do like craft meat and I have to take it off like this. I have to cut with the knife this part right here. There's the craft meat. Trying to see if I can get this part cracked. So I have to use a knife and be very careful. There's the meat. This is the amount of meat that I that I got from the legs. There's the meat right there.
getting the meat out of this part right here. Now I'm gonna take off the meat from this lobster's tail. That's the meat right there. I'm trying to take the whole thing out. Okay, this is the lobster's meat. Still have some left. This is the meat right here. And I had to cut the middle part. Take the meat out. There's the meat right there inside. Thickly it. Not a whole lot, but there's meat. And the ingredients. Now I am going to place this bowl of meat right on the bowl. And this is what the shrimp cocktail with crab meat and lobster looks like. That's what it looks like. Don't that look delicious? Want some? Hmm. It's delicious. I want more. <laughs> Tastes real good. Want some? Shrimp cocktail with crab meat and lobster. I really wanted it oysters because that's, ooh, <laughs> Let's try it. Mmm. With oysters, oh boy. It would taste great. But I've tried it and it's so good with oysters. And also, hot sauce, you can use hot sauce. A lot of people like this hot sauce right here called Valentina. 
I also like, it's called the Red Hot Wing Sauce. I like this one too. And I like some other types, but it's all up to you, the kind of sauce that you want to use to add to the flavor. I like the tostadas that are called charras. And it's because they're thinner. I like them better. But a lot of people like this kind of tostadas. The brand is right there. They're called Guerrero. Other people use other type of tostadas. And when you eat the tostadas, they're actually, they're real good. You can also eat a shrimp cocktail with saltine crackers. This is what the saltine crackers look like. And they come in a pack like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup. Just gonna add a little bit for the flavor. If you wanna add ketchup, And there we go. That's the way it looks. And now, let's eat it. Like I said, this is not my type of tostadas. I don't really like this tostadas at all. But I am going to try it out for you. Added the shrimp cocktail. Let's try it. Now, let's try it. Real good. It tastes real good. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Click on that subscribe button and that thumbs up. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.